Welcome to the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm your host, Mackenzie Moore, and today we have with us Golden Girl, Olivia Kretlow. Olivia, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, no problem. And we'll start out just by talking about the basketball. Uh, they're getting underway right now, and you guys are the cheerleaders for them during the games. How's that going so far? Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, we cheer on the sidelines, and we also do sideline routines and perform halftime routines. So it's super fun. Is there anything that you do that is uh, part of your performance for like nationals when you do the competition? Or do you guys do things that are more uh, specific to cheerleading for a basketball game? Um, yeah, our halftime routines are more um, for like crowd entertainment. Uh, our nationals routine is more technique because there are certain requirements for nationals. So our halftime routines, uh, we kind of get to do our own thing and kind of show off what we do. So that's what our halftime routines are for. How much time do you guys usually put into figuring out the halftime routine? Because you guys are obviously, you know, you constantly have nationals on your mind when you're practicing. How much time yeah. do you guys put into the halftime performance practices? We actually spend a lot of time. We practice 8 to 10 every day, like Monday through Friday. So um, we split up our time evenly, uh, kind of practicing cheers and sidelines and getting in half-time routines, cleaning them, and also cleaning nationals. So we space it out pretty evenly, so we spend a good amount of time on everything. All right, uh, Nationals is going to be in March or April of, so it's, it's yeah, next it's semester. Yeah, it's mid-April, yeah. What are you guys doing in the fall to get yourself ready? Are there other competitions that you guys have lined up that you do, like, practices and you work on it, like you get a level of competition, or do you guys just every day you're still with that goal for Nationals? Yeah, um, every Tuesday is Technique Tuesday where we work on technique, and it's also Nationals Training Day, so we do different things to... Um, condition and we learned November uh, we spent six hours learning the first half of our nationals routine and uh, in I think two weeks we're gonna learn the next half of our nationals routine in a six hour time frame and we're gonna have our whole entire routine down then and we just spend certain amounts of time cleaning different sections because there's a jazz palm and hip-hop section and so we just go through and we clean it all so in uh, the 2013 uh, NDAs that you guys got the second place Challenge Cup, and then you specifically and uh, Bailey Peterson got All-American honors. Uh, what was it like? What did, how did it feel winning that this last year? That was awesome. Um, for nationals, that was good. Uh, second place Challenge Cup, it was nice. This year we're going back and we're trying to aim higher, so that's what we're going for for this goal. But uh, me and Bailey at camp, we won All-American. That was amazing to be chosen by the staff to receive that. Uh, we competed with team dance, which we learned uh, that week during camp, and we went back and we competed in front of them and they selected us, so it was amazing. What will you guys have to do this year to improve that second place finish? Um, we're training more. We're conditioning more, training more, nitpicky. We're getting like very down to every single little detail and we're just taking it that much more further. I think Every single one of us has the mindset that we want to do better, and I know we can because we have an amazing group of girls, and we all want to make it to that final stage, and our routine this year is amazing. So I think the work ethic that we have and the amazing coach that we have, we're dedicated enough to make it. All right, and you, uh, you said earlier that you're a uh, broadcasting major. Yeah. Uh, Basically, you want to get into sports broadcasting? Yes. Do you ever feel I like do. maybe you should just go on the sideline in the middle of the game and interview some of the athletes, get your training <laughs> yes. in right now? I, I love basketball games. It's super fun because that's what I want to go into is sideline reporting. And so I get super into the games when we're cheering, so it makes it more fun. You're planning on doing that. You, haven't, you said earlier you hadn't necessarily taken the classes here. Do mm -hmm. you have a university in mind for when you transfer from Johnson County? Um, I'm looking into OU or Arkansas. I know wherever I want to go next, I want to try out for the dance team. So that's honestly one of my major things is I want to be able to dance wherever I go because that's something I love and I want to stick with it. But I also want to go to a school that has a great journalism and strategic communications program. So I don't know. I'm still looking. Well, I hope you good luck with uh, your future endeavors in education and with Thank the Golden you. Girls. It's great having you guys out there cheering for the teams. So. Thank you. That's it for this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm Mackenzie Moore. Thanks for watching JCAV TV.